Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Dyson, and today I am showing you my yearly favorites. I love doing these videos. If you're into these videos and you wonder about my past yearly favorites, check out my link down below, or my playlist down below, and I also will be at an end card at the end of this video. But yeah, um, I haven't done too many makeup videos this year, because I've been into cooking more, and um, here lately I haven't been posting that either because it hasn't been doing the greatest. Me trying out, um, trying to make bread. I did a couple that did turn out good, but I tried a lot more than just twice. And only two videos went up on that, and then I tried to make homemade pasta, and that didn't go good at all either. So. But yeah, if you're interested in me as a person and seeing what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, let's get into this video. I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow base because that's normally what I start off with in my normal makeup routine. Um, my favorite is still going to be the Milani Eyeshadow Primer Longwear Eyeshadow Base. This is prob this is a repurchase. Like, I don't know how many times I've repurchased that. I actually have this one on the Too Faced Shadow Insurance one. It's good. It's just not my favorite. That Milani one is. Let's see. Eyeshadow. Um, let's see. I have been enjoying just grabbing out of um uh, mine and Ida's box swap. A box I've been trying out like a new item pretty much every time I put on my makeup for a while now today it was where did I put it it was this gosh um it's like a loose powder effect powder is what it's called in green python and that's what's right there and so far so good it does transfer though so, but that's not a favorite. It's just something I've been enjoying doing, grabbing out of that box, trying out a new product every time. Um, my favorite eyeshadows, I have a lot of favorites actually on eyeshadows. I do really love this Pat McGrath Labs um, eyeshadow palette. Let's see, I love to all four colors. Still have the film but the one I've had longer that I keep coming back to and I've panned a lot of the colors is this essence which side eyeshadow palette um I gave me this I forgot what box swap and there's the colors and as you can tell I have these I'm using the hell out of it I actually use this shadow today it is like the main color just like a base color but yeah I love this palette if you can get this you definitely do it's a great everyday palette let's see do I have let's look and see what my other favorites are I've been really loving this Linda Hallberg Golden 20s eyeshadow palette I've used this one multiple times too. Um, maybe not very recently, but I do love that one. I love, love this Beauty Bay um, Dumbo palette. When I want a certain color out of it, because it's got some bright colors. This is, I love it. It's great quality. They, uh, Revolution Shield with Cannabis Stevia Palette. It has some pretty great shadows in there. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, the Linda Hallberg Enchanted Mysteries. I, th I think this one's been re recently. I can't remember. This is not my favorite because, I don't know. You're either going for one of these colors or you're not. So 
I shouldn't put that in the video. It is nice, but it's not my favorite. I love that 20s palette, though. And, yep. Alice in Wonderland uh, Beauty Bay palette. We used this a couple times. That's not a favorite either. So I shouldn't have even said nothing. Oh, I do really love this Nivea Poison Garden palette. The ones I have circled around that I had a lot of compliments when I wore them with my brown eyes. Love, love, love that palette. I want some more of that brand. This is a favorite too, the um, Melt Cosmetics 420 palette. I really want to try that uh, new palette from Bailey, Bear, Bear, <laughs> Bailey Syrian because I love her channel too. That's the one I got most compliments about. The Roll It color. Um, let's see. Linda Harper Infinity Deep Palette. This is a nice, good, everyday palette, too. I hadn't used that one that much. But it is a good one. That's, I think, pretty much all the shadows. So, yeah. Let's see. Mascara? I'm going to go with this as my favorite mascara. The Milani... Anti-gravity mascara. It's the one I have on today. I need to purchase another one. Really good for my type of eyelashes, which is kind of short and straight. Yeah, and not many of them either sparse. Um, let's go with primer. We got the Nikki Tutorials um, Where It All Starts cream. I love this, as you can tell. Kind of expensive. Don't think I'll repurchase, but I do absolutely love it. Yeah. And I've been loving the sponges that um, I recently got from. I don't know what brand it was anymore. Anyways, and then I love this LA Girl Pro Concealer. This has been on my channel for a very long time. I have a review about this years ago. Um, when I basically first started my channel, not too long after I started, I did a review on this one. This is a good one. I actually have it on today. More recent Discovery Great Concealer. That's the yearly favorites is this NYX Bear With Me Concealer serum. I love this. I lost it. That's why I went with the LA Girl one for a while now, but I'm going to use it up because that's good. I, I do see myself repurchasing that one too. Let's see. We got the concealer. We got the... Oh, we need to talk about foundation. I... I can, I like this foundation, but it is too light for me, and it's darker than the one I tried last time. Um, the Essence Pretty Natural Foundation in the color 40 Natural Vanilla. I need to try to go the next step up, but yeah, it's hard to find, and I'm not really dark either, so. But anyways, this is my favorite. This is the one I have on today. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Blur Foundation. In the color soft beige 06 love it perfect match i love it i need to repurchase that too um let's see i'll go with blush now my favorite blush um this year is going to be the the i don't know i've never tried this brand before until now um ida sent it the last box box swap we just did and this is the blush stick and the color deep pink so i put this on before i do my powder and i just rub it in with my fingers that's great powder let's 
see my favorite powder I do not have the lid is the Cody Airspun loose face powder in honey beige Ooh, I'm trying not to empty it on me love this powder <laughs> there it is um, but this is the Anastasia lid because I don't know where my lid went um, that's a continue repurchase I definitely will be continuing it let's see I haven't really been doing face sprays at all this year I've mainly been doing it for like every once in a while I'll put face spray on but mainly it's just for brushes and yeah let's see um bronzer is the LA um no L'Oreal Paris infallible 24 hour fresh wear matte bronzer light clear um 250 that's what I've been I used for my bronzer today and it's been an everyday go-to and I love that lipstick I hope I'm not forgetting anything oh eyeliner let's do eyeliner first it's the Kaya Cosmetics eye brightener in the color I can't it's I can't see it but it's the eye brightener really good have it on really good um but yeah I've been using the blush stick that same one that I showed you all ago from my um, cheeks. I've been using that on my lips. That's what's on my lips right now. Yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah. That's pretty much it that I can think of. If I forgot something, let me know. And I will comment it what my favorite is. If you think of something I might have forgot to tell you about. But yeah, I do have more favorites too, but they're just not right in front of me or they're shoved somewhere. But those are my main favorites of 2023. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you buddies on the next video. Bye!